Pensière Les vaches et dans les voitures It is I, Monsieur Pompenus Hey, you're not expecting me I have been released early from prison This is because I was given a job in the canteen and then everybody in the prison mysteriously died. But my restaurant, Le Grand Oeuf, has been closed down due to a cockroach infestation in the kitchen, dans la cuisine. The cockroaches were supposed to be in the kitchen. They were for my cockroach and a potato. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yum. So I found myself here. Outside the playgrounds and the schoolyards of your disgusting country, selling ice creams to all the little children, les stupid enfants. Unfortunately, it's not going very well. People do not like my ice creams for some reason I cannot understand. I have all these new flavors. Look at them, they are lovely, no? But this man, for example, he has recently purchased uh, one of my ice creams. This is a dinosaur leg and new ice cream. <coughs> He's being sick. <coughs> Stop it, monsieur! <coughs> you are get this sick on my van, monsieur! <coughs> I'm not happy. I need help from you peoples uh, at home to design a new ice cream for me. I do not like the boring flavors like vanilla. Ugh. Chocolate, ugh, no. I would like you to go to your freezer with your mommy and daddy, take some ice cream and make a new flavor with two new ingredients, maybe like uh, the broccoli and sausage ice cream, or the cheese and pea ice cream. It's a très bon idea. And take a picture of you, you next to your ice cream, you next to your ice cream, and email it to me at this address. CBBC at the BBC and I will show the picture at ten past six, eh? Oui, bon genie! Mm. Now, shall I continue with my business? Get your ice creams, eh? Get your ice creams, you stupid ugly peoples! Get your ice creams, you walking argument for a fight! Get your ice creams! Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Yep. That's fine. No problem. Bye. Oh, I knew that ice cream man was familiar. It was Monsieur Pompelmousse. Wow. You know, Monsieur Pompelmousse, the loony French chef, this guy. Apparently, he's been released from prison early and now he's, he's an ice cream man. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, he wants people to make inedible ice creams at home, like uh, chocolate ice cream with broccoli or strawberry ice cream with tinned salmon, and then take a picture of them with their ice cream to this address, cbbc at bbc.co.uk, and he's going to show the ones he likes at ten past six. What a stupid idea. No one's going to do that. You even listen to me. That's fine. Burn under that sun lamp. Burn, boy. Here's Jakers. If you do not like my ice creams, monsieur, then maybe you could go to one of your little supermarkets and buy one in a little tub. Maybe you would like, stop being sick on my van! Stop being sick on my van, monsieur! Uh, oh, monsieur? It is I, monsieur Pompelmus, recently released from prison for crimes I did not commit. Well, I did commit them, but that is a minor detail. Unfortunately, they have closed down my restaurant, Le Grand F, for a minor cockroach infestation. I am not happy. But my ice cream business will be a huge success. Le success formidable, monsieur. Formidable. People say you cannot mix these foods together and eat them. And I say, no, no, I will do so. And people will buy my ice creams and I'll make lots of money. Beaucoup d'argent, eh oui. So, 
Let's see my favorite recipe that I've sent in for ice cream today. It is from Emmy Hilton Essex. And it is made from pepper, bean, and chips. Do you know what I think of your recipe, Emmy? I think uh, it is of trouble. I love it. I may add it to my menu and maybe my customers will stop being sick. For some reason, it has been happening a lot recently, even with my latest flavor that I invented, uh, this one, uh, dog and mouse flavor. I, I think it tastes lovely. Mmm, ah, mm, 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 How's the sun tanning going? Yeah, I'm not surprised your skin hurts. Too much sun tanning's not good for you, you know? Well... Yeah, look. Yep. What? What? It's the electricity board. They're just wondering why our power consumption's shot up today. Apparently, we've got a bill for £245,000. Oh! Oh! I wonder why that might be. I wonder what that could possibly be, you idiot! Oh. But well, you're going to have to pay for this, you know. Wow. I'm going to work you like a slave. I'm going to work you like you've never even worked before. Oh, oh. Is there any way we can... No? Oh, oh. oh, oh. You fuck! Don't you owe Ed me. You will mop this desk. And for it, I'll give you 50p. And that will go some small way to paying off that £245,000 electricity bill you ran up. Uh, eh? Hmm? Can I have a pound? No, you can't have a pound. Uh. I'll see you tomorrow at 3.30. Bye. Bye. Stop it. Oi, well, oi, stop enjoying yourself. Oi! Get on with the mopping! Are you listening to me? I'm warning you! Oh, no.